It's been warning me. See you in there. Wanting me with fear, I suppose. My dad had been aggressive towards me. Threatening, I suppose. Because of what I was doing to my little brother, I guess. I copied it. Copied my earth father in error of my true father God.
Good video. <laughs> <coughs> So much I Maybe that doesn't make much of a difference. It didn't happen when I was talking about it, did it? <laughs> Some more of that, obviously. <laughs> By the way, this is no spirit possessing me. I've never felt more myself in all my life. Well, not since a very young age. <sighs> well, a lot more of this in me. Be a long video. <laughs> Feels good, actually. This is, you know, shame, shame and arrogance, arrogance mainly, well look at it, it's arrogance. Snobbery. Goofishness. <laughs> Yeah, Warren, you always used to have a go at me about sneering. Yeah, I like Warren. You're a good bloke. <laughs> well, you're all good mates. brothers and sisters. Anyway, I went into my head then, <laughs> feeling I was discluding other people.
The reward is being closer to God. Understanding him and her more. Feeling just a bit closer. I was just remembering Warren because um, at times he's been pretty mean to me and and I always sort of just thought he was a bit of an arsehole in a way but the times when he was being mean to me is when I was being a dick and he was good enough mate to show me to be honest and I see also that I was probably more of a bad influence on him than he was on me. And that I should be a good friend of his. I should see him more. I'd want to see him more. I seem to be getting a nod in approval that the last time I was in this state I felt that Emily Sear was my soulmate. <laughs> I seem to be getting that nod in approval. <sighs> I never met her until I was like 22. 22? <laughs> <laughs> Towards the end of 22, <laughs> October 22. Emily twenty three. I met 
el otro día le digo una misión. Further and further away. You get further and further away. So I guess the older you are, the longer this sort of stuff could go on for. But I tell you what, makes you feel more alive. <laughs> more alive than watching it. <laughs> watching it's going to be like fucking hell. Oh sorry, this is for children too. Well I don't know if cannabis is for children but sitting down and thinking about God and feeling it. And when I put my head down that hasn't been conscious so far. Probably will be now. But that's, you know, that's the... When you can get into the humility, and you can get past the intellect, that's the truth, and you can get into the humility, and you know, maybe you should video it as well. This could be the viral videos of the... Uh, yeah. So come on, you don't have to be Jesus. You just have to be human. I consciously did it then. <laughs> oh. If that's about an hour, then probably the cannabis is leveled off. Come down a level after about an hour of the cannabis effect. Can't forget it's the cannabis effect. <clears throat> there's clouds, there's some gaps. I'm getting stiff, so. I think another break is due. Or maybe a bit of an explanation. To do with a cup of tea and a fag. <laughs> or I could feel more gods, more God. Could I? It's more about what you think than what you smoke. Or, you see, in time. <coughs> I'll need less smoke less often, say, to have these points. So I'm still high now. So remember, you've got to come down in the levels. But I think what we're seeing is that unpleasant emotion should be felt. Feel it. In a private room front of a window if you like. Seems a nice way to do it. Or somewhere you're just comfortable. Whether you have to film it or not, I don't know. It made it interesting in the sense that that really got the humility working. All the pig snorting and snobbishness and also by declaring those people there and I just brought up and I'm sure there are many others to feel through is um, is a good way of declaring it publicly or you're not, you're not holding back at all, you're not 
hiding anything. And that, that's important for... It's important. Got a lot of clouds. I think I've come down <coughs> level. I mean, whether you, you know, it's a cloudy day and you say you can't do this, I mean, that's not true. So I'll just check it's still filming. Battery getting down to two bars. So. I'll try again. I, I have a feeling now, though, that the cannabis has come down a level. Because I'm starting to want other things, like I'm starting to want a fag and and stuff, and it's probably a long enough video anyway. But anyway, let's just see when it's cloudy what will happen. I did that consciously then. I'm going to stay in, might as well. If you're trying this at home, um, if you have any pain, just feel it. If you have any tickles, feel them. Don't ignore them. Arrgh! Feel them. And grey beard, and grey hair, and don't comb it. It's natural, you see. So, I don't know, it might help. Might be, might do. You might have to do it. For it to work, why not do it? That is your natural looking self. I know I'm just killing every barber's. No, you see, so that's rubbish. Don't listen to that, that's not from God, that's my bullshit, which I'm probably gonna have to feel some more humility for. Some more uh, snorting. Oh, yeah, I didn't finish saying in that dream, I thought I was awesome. Um, pole vaulting and my brother what happened in that dream is I went totally into like this dark and wind blowing and rain in my face and all I could do was snort <laughs> and that you know that and I think that was linked to like you know me wanting to be famous or me thinking I'm some sort of awesome being like yeah just me thinking I'm better than other people that's all it is Anyone thinking they're better than better than anybody else. We're all children of God. We're all equal. We're equal at the point of conception. After that, any well, anything is either your own fault through your law of attraction by doing bad things you bring bad things upon you so I was in a sense partly causing my dad to be aggressive towards me absolutely that's why it was a shameful emotion also there was a part of it that, that I then copied him in his actions and did that to my little brother, so it's partly, you know, partly one, partly one or the other. But that's come down from generation to generation as well, so it's original sin. Essentially, it's difficult to connect with when you say it's original sin. <laughs> it started with the first two human beings thinking they were gods. And I suppose being famous sort of makes you into a bit of a god. Everybody thinks you're wonderful. And you're not. But all, all the human beings have souls. Every single one. And animals apparently don't. 
they are creatures of God, but they don't have a soul. They have a spirit body, which continues to exist as they are sleeping, and a physical body. They are God's creatures. That is a truth I am beginning to accept, is that the animals are not on the same level as the human. I guess they all have their different parts to play and if you like they may be the witnesses of God or just anyway Probably going to run out of battery at some point, and that will be well. God knows when it's going to end. The battery, anyway. So as I'm going back in, I'm just trying to stop the thoughts and start the feeling. Which is going to sound weird if you've never done this. But you have done it just when you were very young. And for some of you it might have got knocked out pretty early on. Like, I think I've got, I created a fetus which miscarried and so that baby is, well that fetus existed for that short time. It must have been my emotions maybe that killed the thing, or his mother's emotions, or both of them at the time maybe. I don't know. But I think I'd seen him in a dream, and he had long, long, blonde, straight hair, and I sort of pulled it back a bit jokingly, and seemed in a good place. And you know, now that I know of him and everything, then maybe I'll be able to connect with him more. And as as I'm progressing, which I endeavour to do. then that would be good for him too, because that would show him the right way. And I have a son who's still alive, thankfully, Francis. <laughs> good boy. I wouldn't want to give Francis cannabis, but I don't think children need it if you start to get get them before they're made up their minds, before they've left it too much, or I don't know. children, children. <laughs> That's why we all love children. We can see. We can see their habits. We can see in a baby. But you don't see it, you know it. You know they've got something so, so good. Yeah. So if this video is being listened to by any children under the age of 14, you don't need 
any cannabis to do this. So you're lucky. Uh, older people, it's just going to take longer. They, you got the patience, and it is never too late to start. But I don't know about the cannabis thing. Just very, very little at first to try. Eat it, eat a bit. Yeah. Have a cookie. Have a cookie. And sit there. Sit there. And just feel. Feel. And the fear block. You're going to have to face it. And you know what? As soon as you face it. You're most of the way through. And it's like any of those with the unpleasant emotions. As soon as you agree to face them, God just gives you love. <laughs> if you just feel love. <sighs> I hope the battery hasn't run out. Because that was a good one. I'm not going to check though. Because God's taking care of it. <laughs> I'm going to go on. <laughs> I'm going to go on. <laughs> Love. 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 <laughs> yeah. That was a dream I woke up to this morning. This really funny stream and this guy was singing about and there's this girl and she was like, Oh, it's time to party and he just sits down the phone and goes, Love, love, love and He's like it's a really cool patient and it's a really cool person to everyone. And it was just so funny. Maybe that's maybe that's the real Jesus. I don't know. I don't know. God, God. Jesus is the same as us. He's the same level as us, and there's lots of spirits in wonderful places. They're so funny and loving. And This is definitely something to try and attain, people. And as long as you progress, the pain gets less, and it all gets better and better. Ah, imagine, imagine you. <laughs> It hasn't really affected me all that much, apart from having a customer whose son is John Cantley, Hugh Cantley's nephew, and you know ISIS have got him reporting they slit the throats of others, and it's John Cantley's doing his reports for him, for him, and he's done four so far, and they've had. Not very little, not very much media attention. And so that's kind of touching me. That, you know, it's a customer of mine and his family have to go through that. But, you know, all the wickedness that's going on in the world. Unnecessary. Anyone does anything to anyone, 
be making it worse for yourself, you're going downhill. And you want to be going uphill. So, if you do that, you're just giving yourself more of all this pain to deal with. And I've never killed anyone in my life. When I was young, I used to bully people and I've done some work on those emotions. But, you know, leaders, leaders of the world, you have got major, major responsibilities. So, you know, and I'm obviously, you know, my YouTube videos get about 20 views and most of them don't even watch it all. <laughs> and, you know, and other than that, I've just had effect on people close to me. Batteries probably run out. <laughs> but anyway, those leaders of the world, is this still going on? I want to know. Oh, about to cut, about to die, so that's probably going to be the last message. <sighs> The more responsibility you have, the more of this you're going to have to do. Okay. Feel. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting pretty tired. <sighs> I do feel a bit tired from all that. I want a fag and a cup of tea. I do want to feel some more. Thinking fag and a cup of tea and upload the video as well. It's got to go viral, baby. I think it's good. I think it's good. Right? It shows you it's real. Okay? So, come on. Share me. I'll be the, I don't know if I'm the first one. If lots of people are doing this, who knows? God's children on YouTube if I can get it if I can't get it I can't get it if I can't get that it'll be God's school run out. See, now I know it's red I'm just worried it's going to run out and I'm going to be talking and wasting my time What was I going to say? Yeah, remember that one? Oh. Oh. See, if you think I was acting, I can't. I don't know how hard I was pulling it. But... It seemed to go with some force. It's emotions. And it's the cannabis is. Making them, making you feel them more fully. <sighs> and so now my come down, when I'm going to be coming down, I'm going to. I've got more to smoke this weekend, by the way. So we do all in one. See, with that, actually, I could. I could just leave it at that, couldn't I? <laughs> That's kind of unlikely. No, yeah, because it takes such a long time to come down from it. 
then you know it's tempting to have another one but you know you're facing that but like I'll let's say now I'm you know I've come let's say I have come down a level which I probably have um probably in a few hours I'll come well probably when I go and have a fag and a cup of tea that's probably when I come down a level and and probably in a minute anyway try and finish before the battery runs out <coughs> um um, 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 it's the other thing it does, yes, you don't want to work, you don't want to do this at work or, or stuff, so if you're going to use the cannabis method, not for children under 14, I'd say, 14, because once the child's reached 14, he's into that, he needs cannabis, right, let's face it, chill him right out, um, you know, but there, there you go. Adolescence just proves it. It's the it's the point where the, the children have lost God, lost the love of their mum and dad. To point because they're not as loving as God. And in a sense, that's what the child is yearning for, striving for, to find again, in a way subconsciously, and so. We do get a sense in the end that it is what's been put upon us which has caused these problems. And only by going back, when I was feeling like at one with God in a sense, I understood God. I understood exactly, it just, there was, the feeling was there to be felt. It was just the next thing in the line. And when I've done all of it, then my state's going to be much improved. Now, I don't know how much I've got left to go. And, you know, because I've been doing this sort of thing for a while, but I've been doing it with false truths and, and smoking cannabis all the time. Well, not all the time, but I had a gap in my life. Started smoking when I was 14, and then I gave up when I went to Norway when I was 20-ish, 21. And then when I came back to England when I was like 25, it took me about six months, but got back on it. Because I was getting angry again, and I thought I'd use the cannabis to get off angry, but then I was just stuck on it. And in a sense, my whole life went downhill from there. Because you don't want to come down, but you have to. It's inevitable. It's not pleasant. So if you do this for the first time, you might really want to stay on the cannabis, but you mustn't do that. Your life will go downhill. My man's a new boy. <laughs> and that's got to be finished now, isn't it? No. Yeah, so it was possible without sunshine, it's just nice, nice a bit of sunshine. God is like, that's, because God hasn't got a body, he's just a soul. He might have a body to use if you want to go get into it, I don't know what, I don't know. But the truth I've heard is that God is just not just a soul. A soul is, 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 is an enormous soul. Enormous. We cannot comprehend how baby we are like in front of God. It's, you know, way, 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 way above our pay grade whatsoever. We are babies. Our souls. And we were probably only learning for about a year of our life, and then we started going downhill. Really learning, I mean, you know, on that level. Oh, 
those coaches. Yeah, I think we're millions of levels away from God. So before we can ask questions like, who's your mum and dad God? And who's their mum and dad God? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, gosh, my gosh, how big is it? Too big to, for me to feel. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, yeah, thinking about infinity is not good. There's no benefit. Just feel the love. Yeah. There's so much for us to learn. We are babies. <sighs> it's scary. Love is the answer. Choose to love. We all didn't choose to love. We all have to. All of us. All of us. Unique. <laughs>